three things. Well, three things if I remember. Uh, two things for now. Uh, one, I've got purple stuff on my face because uh, I drank too much alcohol. I've been throwing, I was throwing up from 7 to 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m.? 12 p.m. Whatever. I don't know what time it is now. Um, and second thing, I know I said in yesterday's video, if you had watched it, go check it out on the West Ham Fans Premier League roundup that I wasn't going to talk about uh, Declan Rice is transfer, but I want to talk about it. Because uh, there is some information out there, but I'm not going to talk about everything that I've seen on the information because it's on Patreon and you want to keep that private. But... Uh, <clears throat> we're going to talk about Declan Rice leaving Jao Paulinho and we're going to talk about Gianluca Scamacca again uh, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Scamacca um, well Roma are going to look for Scamacca on loan uh, because of Tammy Abraham's injury um, he's going to be out for the rest of the year now the problem I have with this is that Tammy Abraham's injured and I wanted him two years ago I will take Tammy Abraham. Um, I'm gonna have to rip off my the number on, uh, on my Skamaka shirt. Uh, Selling Skamaka would be a travesty, and loading them out would be a travesty. Um, if there's any striker that needs to go, it's Danny Ings. I'll be glad if Skamaka and Antonio both leave. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen. I don't want him to leave, and it would piss me off even more. Uh, because um. I know we won the Conference League and I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm ecstatic more than you can believe. I've got a video talking about it tomorrow. Um, but uh, this was my issue with uh, going into next season is that you don't give someone a chance um, after a first season in a, in a transfer window for that price or the pressure on him. New country, new language, new style of play. You don't play with the two up front. Or in like uh, a different formation where you have the wingers close to you, uh, similar to Haller. They're different strikers, by the way, different profile strikers. For all the people that want to say, I told you so about comparing Skamaka to Haller, just because they were tall and I didn't watch him. Um, and I was and I didn't watch Skamaka either. But I was just happy that we had a striker. I wanted Brozier. We didn't get Brozier. Thought it'd be impossible to get Skamaka, and then we got him. Um. Now, there's a big hole in this report, not by not necessarily what Fabrizio Romano said, but what Fabrizio Romano has been fed. Um, and the reason why I say this is because apparently we want Tammy Abraham in a swap deal. But Tammy Abraham has got an ACL injury, I'm pretty sure, a long-term injury that keeps him out for the rest of the year. So you're telling me our striker options are actually going to be Antonio and Ings. And the answer, I'm completely fine with Michael Antonio. But he can't play every game. But Daddy Ings, um, I'm not even writing Daddy Ings off. But we don't play to his strengths either. And because he's smaller, we try and use him as a battering ram. We don't fit his style. And to be honest, I don't, I don't, I didn't really see a point of the point of deciding in the first place. I said that at the time. I think he's a good player. Didn't see a point of deciding. Just my opinion. I think he scored four goals for us, which is not bad. Not bad. Might be three goals. So. Is it Ghent and two against Forest? I don't remember if he scored any other goal, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on the Skamaka situation. Let's move on to Declan Rice and Gio Paulinho. Now, we have been linked to Fulham midfielder Gio Paulinho. Plays as a number six. Um... Alongside Harrison Reed, sometimes Harrison Reed goes a bit more further forward for Fulham. Both good midfielders was a very good signing for the first season in the Premier League, and I think it's a big risk signing someone that has only had one season in the Premier League. We saw that with Maxwell Corne, who got injured. We saw that with Mark Cucurella for Chelsea, etc. It doesn't always work out. Um, but with Declan Rice leaving and probably going to Arsenal, uh, because of personal terms, unless Arsenal fuck up the price. Other clubs are interested, but I'll leave it out there. If you want to know more, go and subscribe to the West Ham Ways Patreon. You'll find out more there, because uh, Patreon's private and all that stuff. Um, 
but Jao Parhinha as a Declan Rice replacement would be wouldn't be the worst. And we've been linked to a James Ward Prowse and Harvey Barnes as well. I don't get the report of selling Ben Rama or Corne or Four Nails for for Harvey Barnes because Four Nails is better in the centre as we all know. I know he's good at, he's good off the left off the ball but not on the ball no. But he can he should be able to hit his own head, get into pockets himself and just unless it's an instruction to hug the touchline, which it probably is, to be honest. But um I don't see the point of selling one of them. If you're gonna sign Harvey Bond, you're gonna to have to put Corday on the right or something. I've never seen Corday on the right. Uh apart from two games. Uh both of them are sub appearances, I'm pretty sure. Uh I would like uh Harvey Barnes is a very good player. But there's another one where it's do we need him? I think he would be our best left winger. Um I think he's better than Ben Rama and Corne. But it worries me about some of the futures of certain players at this club. The the, the I'm gonna I'm not gonna do the buy keep sell thing. The players I wanna go is Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson and Ben Johnson. Now I wouldn't bat an eyelid or Suchek going. I think he'll probably get his contract extended. But when needs to sign the contract. Um etc etc etc. But as I was saying, apparently we're gonna use the use money to buy Palhinha, Ward Price and Barnes. That's just random reports. Uh we're 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 definitely in pole position apparently. By Matt from Matt Law to say that we're in pole position for RB Barnes. And Ward Prowse is the most David Moyes signing ever. And I would and I would take him because of the free kicks alone. And I think he's a genuinely just a good player in general. I think his free kicks is obviously his best attribute, but in general you've got to give it to him. Like the guy is a genuinely good midfielder. He's also a leader. He was a captain. And we're gonna lose a captain. And Ward Prowse is a bit older. So you'd expect him to be a bit more mature. And he's coming into a team that played Europe for the first time. I know Liverpool are also in for him, but I don't think they're going to get him because they're in for Corona and Turam. I think the Turam deal will be done. And I don't see them getting Ward Prowse if they sign Turam and um, McAllister. Because they want someone they could either convert into a deeper position or just a player who can play there. And to be honest with you, I'm very looking forward to see what Liverpool do next season, but I don't think they'll sign Ward Prowse. Um, I'm hoping we sign more bros. It also seems like a very Tottenham signing because Daniel Levy in a homegrown quarter. But I don't know whether he's the perfect midfielder for this Andrew Poster Cookery guy who probably wants Matt O'Reilly, that midfielder for Celtic. I've watched Celtic a couple of times, not much. Um, but yeah, Paulinho as a rice replacement. I, it wouldn't be the worst. Rice is a bit more mobile. I would say Palhinha, I've not really seen how he can uh, defend counter-attacks on his own probably or make a... He'll probably just have to make like a a professional foul all the time because he's not quick enough. His passing range is probably better than Rice's, if we're being honest. Rice has got a better diagonal. Uh, but that's it. I think Palhinha is better in between the lines. I think Rice is a better player overall, don't get me wrong, but if, I also don't see Paulinho leaving Fulham this season. Uh, and if he does, I would see Fulham struggling next season unless they get a really good replacement. I know they've got the Lukic guy. I don't know what type of midfielder he is, though. I only watched him against uh, Bradford. Um, I don't see Paulinho leaving because he's, he's got a big contract at Fulham. Um, and the ball is in their court. We have no say really in this matter. But nice and calm video today. And by the way, every time I do a West Ham fans Premier League roundup video, there's always news that comes after that that I don't get to talk about, like the Man United takeover that could happen, them signing Kim Min Jae that could happen. Uh, Steven Gerrard went to Saudi Arabia. Your guess is as good as, my, as, good as mine. There's reports about Pep Guardiola potentially leaving in 2025. I don't know how true that is, though, so whatever. 
But that will be the end of the video, guys. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the Conference League final again. And, uh, yeah, leave a like on the video and subscribe to your new social medias over in the description if you want to follow me on the email for the inquiries. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.